Uh, good morning, YouTubers. Um, just want to shoot you a, a quick but sort of in-depth video of uh, how to properly maintain uh, your vehicle. Uh, what I'm washing today is a Ford Maverick pickup truck, uh, but I'm gonna go through the uh, the details of you know certain things uh, to do for your tires, your wheels, uh, bugs, uh, how to properly remove those, and just how to safely wash your car. Uh, with the minimum of possibility for scratches. So I uh, appreciate it and I hope you enjoyed the video. All right, the first thing I do on uh, wheels and tires, I actually use one product that does both at the same time. That way I'm not having to pull out two different spray bottles the whole time. I'm just trying to make this as simple as possible. So what I use is I use this foamer, go ahead and foam both of them down and then we'll go through the washing process. product I used was a PNS Brake Buster. Uh, that's the wheel and tire cleaner I use. Uh, so what I'm gonna first do is clean the barrels uh, with a soft brush. Um, you wanna keep this maintained. This is just gonna keep the brake dust and road grime off the inside of your barrels with your, your wheels itself, so. Same thing I use, I use these little lamb's wool uh, fingertip um, cleaning pads. I use these for the wheels. What this does, I don't know if anybody has black wheels, black gloss wheels, these are sort of charcoal. Um, if you usually use a brush on these all the time when you clean it, you're gonna scratch your wheels. So I use this little jewel and it just keeps you know, just like I wouldn't want to use a brush in my paint on my truck it on the, itself, I don't want to scratch up my wheels. I want them to look good all the time. So uh, it also allows you to get in all the little crevices and everything on the wheels. It does a good job. The next step is I just use a small uh, tough brush for my wheels. All right, next thing we're gonna do is work on the bugs. As you can tell, we've got bugs on the front. And how do we remove that? We use a product, I use a product called Bug Off by p and I'll pump it up in my phone scanner, my little phone sprayer. <clears throat> you spray it on probably let it sit don't let it dry but I usually let it sit for a couple minutes and then uh, use the pressure washer to get it get it all off all right it's been a couple minutes to let the uh, product work what that product does is actually uh, helps break down the proteins um, <clears throat> other bug guts on your vehicle. 
So what, what you can do now is just, uh, I use a pressure washer, obviously. Uh, I wanna try to keep as, uh, the least amount of aggressive scrubbing on your paint as possible. That's what I try to do. Um, and this is just an easy way of doing it. After rinsing off your bug guts, off your truck, I go ahead and um, I rinse the whole truck down. I'm trying to eliminate, um, trying to remove all the dust. Uh, this truck is not filthy; it is dirty. I do try to wash it. I do try to wash it once a week. Sometimes it's once every two weeks. Um, but as you can tell, there's dirt. I don't want to have a, a possibility of that getting in my sponge when I'm going around uh, washing the truck when I foam it. So I want to remove all that to get rid of the possibility of scratching that, getting all my paint and scratching my paint. So we're gonna go ahead and rinse it off. The next process is going to be foaming it up. Um, I've got Adam's mega foam in the canister here. Uh, I did notice on my little filter I have, I got an RV filter on my hose to the house. Um, last time I washed it up, it wasn't foaming like it normally does, so I think my filter is all chugged up. I would suggest getting one of those. I'm going to go ahead and pick up another one, uh, but it helps your foam foam up better, and it also eliminates some of that. Um, helps eliminate some water spotting. You know, that's another big thing you're trying to, not just scratches, but water spots you're trying to eliminate. So you'll see when I'm on washing process, is another thing for windows, is I'm gonna foam this thing up. I'm gonna wash all my windows in the top first. Then I'm gonna refoam that area and the rest of the truck because some of it's gonna drop down. But also I wanna put soap on the windows again because it is sun's out, you know, and I am in direct sunlight. I don't have any shade in my driveway. Um, that way I don't get water spots in my windows you know, because I'm, I'm washing the rest of the truck and it's drying. So soap will react, the water will reactivate it and rinse off clean and that'll help eliminate some water spots. So I'll go through that process right now. All right, I washed the, uh, the windows and the roof and the tops. So now I'm gonna go ahead and refoam it and uh, finish up with the body.
All right, so we'll go ahead and wash it all down. If you notice when I washed on that video, that part of the video, my washing mitt I do from top down, but then after I do one section, one panel, I flip the, the wash mitt over. So it's a clean side to do the next one. Then I dump it in the bucket, release all the dirt off that uh, wash mitt, and then I go to my next panel. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and rinse it off. I use uh, the white tip on the pressure washer. Uh, so it's nice and soft, it fans out a little bit better. Uh, but as you notice, still got a little bit of foam on the windows that'll rinse off now because uh, if I'd waited that long, I'll probably have some dried up soap on there. So we're gonna go ahead and get that released and uh, we'll show you how to do that. Right, I've completed rinsing off the truck. Now I'm gonna blow it off uh, to get the majority of the, the water off of it. Um, and then we'll come up with a drying aid and finish it off. So I've blown off the truck um, to get it as dry as possibly with the, the blower itself. Uh, but then I use a drying aid to finish it off. And this, this is uh, Adam's slick and slide. Uh, so what I do is I actually use a, rip, a wet rag, okay? That way it applies it evenly. And I think it actually, this product may need a little bit of water to activate it. Um, don't hold me to that, but it seems to work better this way. So. I'll spray it on there, wipe it in, and then I'll take a drying towel. And you'll finish, if I was just to take a regular drying towel to paint, you'll feel it sort of grab a little bit, even a microfiber. But when you use a drying aid, you'll see it slick. You want it slick when you're putting anything, applying any type of rag or anything to your paint. That eliminates the scratches, or helps eliminate scratches. Uh, so I'm gonna show you how we do this. You can apply this product on windows, plastic, uh, anything so, so I'm gonna put it over there wipe right around there uh, so that's that then I finish it up with a drying rag all right I'm gonna try to show you first person on this product um, on the hood so I'll spray a couple spritzes here and a cup over here. And then I'll grab my <clears throat> wet microfiber and I'll rub it in. So at this point, even with the, the microfiber, you'll, I mean, you're getting rid of the water already. Don't think water, you know, a lot of people wanna use a beach towel on their paint, that's terrible. Try to get you some good rags. Um, that'll help it. So at this point, I'm gonna use the microfiber drying towel. Knock this out. And you'll feel up under the underneath this towel, you'll feel the slickness. rest of it will flash off and that's how it looks all right well the old Mavericks finished you can tell all the bugs are removed clean 
and that was done safely. Uh, you can see the hood. It's glossing, shining pretty good. Windows are all done. Uh, wheels are clean. I don't normally dry, uh, dress my tires. Sometimes I, if I do, I mean, sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. When I detail other people's cars, I do it. But as for my own, I use it just if I keep it nice and clean, they, they look good to me. So, uh, window's all done. But I wanted to show you the gloss on this. That's why I pulled it in the garage, just a little better. White's always tough to see gloss. But if you can get white to pop, you know, and shine like this, You've got a good product and I want to share that one product with you once I show the other four that I used today. Uh, first one I used on the wheels and tires was the PNS Brake Buster. Uh, I used it four to one, uh, four parts water, one part, part concentrate. And that foaming uh, sprayer, uh, I usually get about four cars out of that one sprayer. I'll probably, I think I put three ounces of this product in there. So you know where I sit on that. Everybody, I mean, you watch me foam it up, you probably think, man, he's using a ton of product. Really not, really. I mean, if you think about it, I'm probably using an ounce per vehicle. That's it. So um, this stuff works great. Uh, there's other ones that are good as well. This one has less of a chemical scent and that's why I choose this one. When I wash cars and as many as I do, I want to have a good experience as well. I don't want to be smelling a whole bunch of bad product. I'm going to be truthful with you. Uh, the PNS bug off out of the pro series. You saw how well that worked. I put it in the pump foamer, sprayed it on, let it sit for about two minutes and then pressure washed every, all the bugs off. I don't have to scrub. I don't have to do anything. The stuff works great. Uh, mega foam from Adams. You're probably thinking I use a lot of that. Uh, I've gone through quite a few bottles of this stuff. It's great. Um, one thing I can tell you, that foam cannon I used, you saw it uh, earlier in the video, I, I put two ounces of this stuff in the foam cannon and I was able to foam up this truck twice. So it's concentrated, does a nice job rinsing off and uh, does a good job cleaning, has good lubricity. So it's lubricated on the surface when I put my wash bed across there and um, that helps eliminate, you know, pre prevent scratching, you know, so you want products to help you prevent scratching. The slick and slide is my drying aid. Same thing, why do I use that? If you put a regular towel on your surface, you'll feel it grab a little bit. When it does that, it's really scratching your paint. But if you put a product like this, uh, Extreme Solutions Topper is another good one. It's really the same thing as this. It's made at the same plant. This one just has a different color and has a different scent. I've used both of them. This one I happened to get on sale the last time. That's why I chose this one. Uh, but it does a great job. It does add a little extra protection till my next wash, you know? So uh, any, any extra protection is always good, you know, for water beading uh, and so forth. But this is the product I used on the paint. This is the one that's why it's glossy. Brian with Apex Surface Protection. Uh, he came up with this line probably two months ago. It's called BC, which means blue collar. This was his first product that came out was the, th the three. So he's got BZ one, two, and three. The three is like $18, 1898 or whatever it is. And it's uh, three month, three to four or five month protection. I'm so impressed with this. This was the first one I bought it the first night he had it out once he released it. Um, really enhances the gloss. If you can get a white vehicle popping, then you've done a nice job. This stuff does great. Uh, so what I'm gonna do, I'm actually going, uh, the BC2 is a one year coating. It's, it's also in a, uh, in a sprayer. And then the BC1 is a five-year coating. You know, it's more like a ceramic uh, type coating. Uh, but I think I'm gonna purchase the BC2 as well. Go ahead and put it on here. That way all I have to do is, you know, I got 12 months of protection. Then all I have to do is my regular maintenance wash with products like this. And um, it'll keep the truck shining, looking great. Uh, products like this, you can apply it on everything. Your plastics, your lights, and the paint, and windows actually too. Um, so that, what that does is, you know, you get good product on a, on a, on your, your vehicle surface. It helps eliminate what water spotting and so forth. So, um, and you know, if, if you go through the proper wash method, like we showed you today, it helps prevent scratching as well. Your new, your vehicle will look new a lot longer if you just do, uh, the process that we showed you here today, but I appreciate y'all's time. If you have any questions, uh, leave it in the comment section below and I uh, appreciate y'all and y'all have a good day.